Hey guys, welcome to a new studio vlog. It's kind of chill today because the weather has been so beautiful recently. If you have no idea what the Singapore climate is like, it's like sweltering heat. The moment you leave the house, or even when you're indoors, to be honest, you just like start sweating right after a shower. So it's never, it's never a nice feeling. I never feel really productive because I'm always like trying to cope with the weather. But now, recently, it's been raining every single day and it's so cooling. And in fact, it kind of does the opposite because now I don't want to do work. Kind of just want to sleep in, kind of just want to do nothing the whole day. But we are going to take it slow. Today, we are going to be working on some Patreon rewards because I think it's been a while since I showed you a bit of that process and it's always nice to kind of show off new goodies that we've made. So, a lot of packing in this one. We have a lot of things to unbox, pack, and we are going to prepare some rewards for the next month as well, which is December. I'm filming this on the 1st of December, so this is not November anymore. I'm not that ahead of the curve. Like, I wish I was one of those people that were like, oh, I'm done with December's rewards in November. But that's just not me. I don't roll like that. I just do things last minute as and when I want and somehow it works for me. So like, yeah, this is my process. Han is coming into the studio as well and then we'll have a little chit chat. She went traveling or something and I'm so jealous. <laughs> to finally have these in my hands because I drew these such a long time ago. But yeah, we got the November rewards as well as this new thank you card that are supposed to go into each and every one of your orders that happened like last week, a week ago? Okay, wait, I don't know when this video is coming out but the last shop update of the year. The one with the special box. So yeah, this is the print. You'll finally get to see it in real life. And then we have the November print which is like this fancy grid, this quilt inspired design that I drew. Can I put it here? <laughs> we also have the backing card for the album. Oh my god, I haven't talked about the album in like the longest time. Be prepared for that. I'll tell you all about it. And then the two stickers, super cute. Bunch of flowers and then the shrimp flower. We also just printed the labels, which is like <laughs> my favorite part. I love seeing the labels come out. It's like, you go little man. What was the face that you were giving me just now? I can't read and act this. <laughs> you can! I cannot! Can. It must happen in the moment. Okay. I'm not an actress. Oh, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Her response is giving me actress. <laughs> no. three new boxes of envelopes and like each box is like 500 A6 envelopes but like they're just plain ones. Unfortunately like I can't get custom printed all colored envelopes like locally. It would cost literally a bajillion dollars and they want you to print like 10 like 10,000 or something and I don't have space in my room for 10,000 envelopes so yeah I, I'm just dealing with plain white envelopes and then like we have a bunch of different stamps that you're gonna decorate it with. We also close it with like cute washi tapes to add a little bit of colour. But yeah, I feel sad because my envelopes are white. I wish they weren't white. I get jealous when I see people have cute coloured envelopes and it's just like not my reality because Singapore's lame. <laughs> Do we have space upstairs? Are you gonna be a stunt woman or am I? You can. I can. Sure. What? Do you like no, then you can't fit the other. Can, 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 can. Wait, I should put it on the right on the side. <laughs> yeah! Can, <laughs> Genius! Can, can, can. We did it. Space is a constraint, but we work with it.
for those of you that are new and you don't know, Taza, this is the Sad Shrimps Collectors album. I used to talk about it a lot more in my older videos, but then like I kind of got used to it and then talked less about it. So yeah, here it is. I give out this folder to each and every single one of my patrons when they first join the physical tier. So that's when you're collecting prints and stickers, for example, this month. So yeah, this is everything from January 2020. 2021, oh my god, this is the wrong card. Everything from January 2021 up until November 2022. So we'll do a little flip through. These are all the backing cards, so you can always see what month you've joined and the stickers. So you can collect them and put them in here, but if you're more of like a person who likes to use the stickers, then feel free. You'll never forget what stickers you used to have because they're on the card. For example, in September and October, these are the sticker designs, so if you use them, they're here. But if they're not, then you can just use them as a place to keep all of your stickers. I'm like that because I'm a sticker hoarder and I cannot bear to use my stickers. So I was thinking of my 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 people when creating this because you have no reason to like be anxious now. Like, you can just keep them in this cute little folder. So this is this month's. I'm gonna put it in so it looks all like fancy but like cute. Super cute! Oh my god. We are gonna finish yet another page next month, which is the one we'll be designing together in this video. And then yeah, oh my god, it feels like we've accomplished something. It's always so nice to look back. Like, whoa. We've done so much in such a short period of time. I've already planned out the colours for all the different cards so that it forms a new rainbow. I know it sounds very extra, like, why would someone go so far? <laughs> in planning but like we did a rainbow once in this spread you can see that it forms a rainbow but we did it like this like a z formation overall it still looks pretty nice but for people who aren't collecting every month i wanted to make it still look cohesive so we are forming another rainbow on this spread it looked like this so we're going for a pastel rainbow instead of a very vibrant and bold one like we already did. Join my Patreon if you like prints, if you like stickers, if you like collecting because this is so fun. This is like my proudest achievement. If people ask me what I do for work, I'll just be like... Look at this. So what Han is doing now, she's prepping the album so we, we manually stick it on every single one of these. Yes, my little minion. The cutest minion ever. You do like the, the minion thing. Okay, now you have to mouth along to it. Hello! <laughs> I hope you're still going this place right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> show them what you do, show them what you do. What? We have three colors. We have the yellow one, we have the pink one. The, oh my god, this one looks like sorbet, like ice cream. And then we have a red color one, red color one. Swag, swag, that's so swag. Whoa. <laughs> next one, next one. Next one, next Just one. a different color. Some real close up on your nail there. Oh no, it's not very pretty right now. It's nice, it matches your crocs. The, <laughs> and the office crocs, wait, I'll show them. These are our office crocs. This is Han's pair, okay. And when she was dating people, I told her to dump the guy that she was dating. He was no good for her. I have a little shrimp here. Her nails match her crocs. Oh, oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Is this the content you wanted? Why are we whispering? I did it! <laughs> You're so good at it! Thanks! <laughs> We're gonna write a little welcome note to all of the new people who joined our Patreon this month. Hello, thank you, welcome, I love you. I used to do this when we first started and I had to write like 50, 60 every month. But now Han does it for me because I am doing other things. Like the stuff you see in the shop, that's me. The stuff when it comes to packing and all that. Me! <laughs> you! Me! Yes! <laughs>
guys, this tape. I want to show you. This washi tape is so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Uh, the shadow of this spiky creature's furry thing is my mic. So <laughs> this sounds cute. We are talking about the hit <laughs> teen movie of the 2000s. You know A Cinderella Story? The one with Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray. Oh, oh, oh. I love him. Oh my, I, I love, love him. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Was he cuter in this or in Freaky Friday? He had long hair then. In this one. I like him in this one. I'll put a picture. Because I believe in myself. And I know that things are going to be okay. But even though I have no family, no job, and no money for college, it's you I feel sorry for. <laughs> I can wait for him. Because it's going waiting for you. It's like waiting for Ray in this drought. Useless and disappointing. <laughs> oh my god, look at him! Oh my god, he's damn handsome. Oh my god. So handsome. I can watch this like I used to watch this a lot. A million times. Just re-watch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we have the same taste, guys. Hey guys, I'm sorry to report but it's been like two weeks since you last saw me, like today. I took a little bit of a break because with all of the shop opening and happenings, it's like I was a bit overwhelmed and I wanted to like push this video out for December to show you guys like what I would usually create for Patreon but like I was just so overwhelmed. I just needed to take a step back and I feel great again. <laughs> That's why I'm back. But that kind of means that I'm a little bit off schedule for this month's Patreon rewards. But it's okay, my patrons understand, I think. Like, they're the most understanding bunch. Like, the best bunch, honestly. You guys saw me pack last month's rewards and that's like the fun part. But like, I also wanted to show you some drawing. I rarely show you drawing footage because I just get a little bit stressed out because I want everything to be perfect, which is not good because like you guys must know that not every step of the process looks pretty, right? I'm like super excited to show you what I've been working on. Oh, I've also changed my iPad. Finally, you remember that one video where I said I bought a new iPad? I haven't changed it until now. <laughs> that was like months ago. So I finally got time to set it up and it's finally not the one that I have to plug the Apple Pencil into the butt. So like it feels... Great. I don't have like the paper like texture on the screen yet so it's all glass at the moment but I don't mind it too much. Very excited to show you what we got for this month's rewards. We got a little room scene and it's supposed to be a shrimp-tastic room so like if you zoom in you'll see little details of like shrimp centric things and I think it's so adorable. I've been wanting to make a piece like this for a while but I just never got time to sit down and draw something so detailed. Like some of my prints are detailed, like you can take a look at all of the things that we've done in 2022, all of the prints. This one's pretty detailed and I'm super excited to start colouring in, which is what we're going to do on camera today. I did the line work because that's not the fun part. The colouring is the fun part, so like we're going to do that. I think we also have to create some assets for Instagram and then uh, we are done with this month's Patreon rewards. Okay, let's get to drawing.
This is the color palette that we will be working with today. I just had the feels to go with this. I feel like it creates something really fun. I want something bright and energetic. So like, yeah, we are going with this and we shall work by coloring all of the shrimps in first because it's a shrimp centric piece. I want to fit in the rest of the colors after the shrimps, so. It is quite literally night time. I did not expect time to pass this quickly, but here is where we're at with the drawing. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this at the moment, but um, I decided to add a white border on the outside. I think this might be an A5 print because there's so much detail and I want it to be blown up bigger than a small A6 print, so A5 it is, and I think the border helps distinguish the space a little bit better. I don't think it's perfect yet, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks like now. We shall see, I have some time to work on it tomorrow. Han is also coming to the studio again, we are packing some things for the shop update, and then like, I'll work on this side and finish this up. Yeah, because it's night time, I want to eat dinner and rest too, so like, drawing my boundaries, guys. I have sad news for you guys. You can see that the camera looks different. Do I look like disgusting because of this lighting? I think yes. But for some reason, I was filming my little opening scene for today and everything was Gucci. And then my battery ran out. So I was like, okay, let me change it. But it can't open. <laughs> It can't open. Han is in the middle of trying to get it to work. <laughs> trying because we've all tried and literally passed the camera around to everybody. It's so tragic because that means I have to use the old Canon G7X which just looks like this. It reminds me of my older videos and I might have to colour grade it but like yeah it would never compare to the Canon M50 which just makes everything look more beautiful. So like yeah we're just gonna have to deal with this for the moment because I literally cannot afford a breakdown right now. But I did get an exciting delivery just and it was my sticker sheets I completely forgot about these you know sometimes when you order like a whole bunch of stuff at one time then you kind of forget about it my December sticker sheets came in just in time I wanted to show these to you once the print was completed but like we're not there yet so maybe I'll just show you the sticker sheets first 
these are the cuties for December. I usually do a special sticker sheet to end the year off for my patrons. So like, yeah, they don't know what's coming. Um, but yeah, this is the sticker sheet for December. It's so cute. It's an egg in half, a winky. Do I have to describe these individually? I think you can see it for yourself. I think my personal favorite is this one. This is my vibe at the moment. But what's special is that it's actually clear stickers. So like when you take them out, they're like tinted in this color. Oh, perfect. Look, it's clear. It's a clear sticker. And it's tinted pink. So yeah, it's a clear sticker sheet in all different colors. So that's super exciting. And I got the rest of the quantity here. They sent me the wrong amount. So thank God it came just in time. No delays on the mailing this month. The thing is, I printed three sticker sheets at one time with this supplier. And like, there was some sort of communication issue or something and we couldn't get like the finish right so the first time they sent me this in yellow literally can you see it's a yellow backing so all of the transparent stickers come out yellow and then they also printed this which is a transparent sticker sheet but like there's a white paper backing which looks ugly but this is what i wanted just a clear a clear sticker sheet with nothing in the back. But like, yeah, now I have three variations of the same design and like about a thousand pieces. Just look at this. It's all the same sticker sheet, like more than a thousand pieces, but like more than half I can't use. So like, I don't know what to do with it. Maybe I'll use them just to decorate like the outside of boxes and like packaging because they're like functional. Like, essentially these and these are the same thing, it's just, this doesn't look as nice as this does. I guess they are free, so it's fine, I have no complaints, it's just space constraints. But yeah, Han is still <laughs> still working on, on that battery. Now this camera can't focus, Oh. so you have to fix this one too. <laughs> Thank you! We did it. No, actually Han did it. But doesn't this look so much better? <laughs> We're back in HD. Okay, I'll show you how the stickers look like and then I can like move on to my next task. I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights Carols and bells None of them help I still feel blue I just wanna fall in love I didn't really like the black stars on the prints like I thought it would be a cool addition but like after looking at it for a little bit I didn't really like it so I replaced that with some cute like music notes do you know what the music notes are called like the one one beat note and like the two beat notes no. and like the I, I remember a semi quaver and I think it adds 
to the vibe. I kind of like it a lot better now. So like, yeah, this is the finished print. It's not too different from the one that I showed you, but like I tweaked a little bit of the shadows and I added some more texture. And like, I'm happy with it now. So I'm like, I'm not going to overwork it and like keep touching it. The more I touch it, I feel like I'm going to ruin it. So uh, with that, we have also created the um, promotional assets for Instagram. Like this is a big part of the job. I feel like no matter how nice your prints or stickers are, like if people don't see them, people don't know about my Patreon. Yeah, social media is so difficult. I feel like the algorithm is in control of my entire career, my job. So I'm doing my best. One is focusing on the print and the other one is focusing on the sticker sheet. And like, they're cute. It's like magazine-esque. The colors remind me of the to-do list that we made. I'm, I'm still into that phase, I think, the colors and everything. So I'm happy with how they turned out. I am just going to prepare my files for printing now and then send it to the printers, like finally. Today is the 15th of December. Giddy giddy, just in the middle of the month. Hopefully they come soon and then we won't be late. Han is going through some acrylic charms right now. Remember I promised, I promised that earrings will be coming back next year. We're like working on them. So like, we got like a bunch of acrylic charms. These are the faces. And she's like checking each and every charm to make sure that they're like the good ones. They're like some with like, okay. Because this one has a layer, can you see? There is a layer of epoxy resin on top and it's sparkly, there's glitter in it. So like, that means there's chance, there's a chance for things to get trapped in there. So like, yeah, there's a piece of hair in this one and like, we don't want that in your earring, so. This is the bad part. We have like three colorways, so she has to sort through each and every one of them. How bothered are you if there is a small piece of dust in the acrylic? Let me know because like um, sometimes when there are small pieces of dust in enamel pins, they are also marked as B-grade pins, but I don't think people mind as much. How do you feel? You're okay? Yeah. Like you just see small dust in it. I guess. It is not very obvious. Like this one. <laughs> I think this one is fine to me. Okay, let me know your thoughts on that. If you're not too bothered by like a tiny little strand like of dust or something, then we could still use all of this and not waste any material. Mm, so pretty. We also have the green one. Should I have the green one? So we have pink. pink yellow, and then green. Cute, 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 cute. You'll see. You'll see more. Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tales of yore It's so close, hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season most everywhere So come home there's no better place Waking up on Christmas Day We are just gonna pack up some sticker orders before we finish everything up tomorrow which I'm not gonna vlog so this is gonna be the end end we just want to pack a little bit on camera and then like it's just a mystery pack so I sold some mystery baggies in my latest shop update the last one of the year so it's just like a bunch of mystery sticker packs and then we're just gonna pack those so nothing fancy grab your stocking above the fire bells are rocking to the choir no nothing else is the same waking up on christmas day Snowflakes dancing in the street 
presents tied up with a string for you and me. So it's time for the outro, guys. That means that the video has ended. <laughs> But thank you so much for keeping me company in the studio. It's always nice to have you around and to show you around. I think it's been a while since I've made the kind of chill one. I'm always like high energy. I'm so proud of myself for finishing all of the goods. I hope you enjoy them. This is December's rewards again. If you'd like to be a patron, the links are in the description box. So if that's your jam and you would love to support me, it helps me do whatever I do right now. Without my patrons, I literally cannot do this job. So like, mm, big shout out to my lovely patrons. Oh, Wynn just popped in. <laughs> just see a little like skin popping out. She is learning how to do machine tattoos. So like, oh, that is also a cool development. No pressure whatsoever. If you can, <laughs> if you can and it's cool. If you can't, it's also cool. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I will see you in the next one soon. Love ya. <laughs> Love ya. You don't know how to end videos. Bye. <laughs> see you soon. Thanks for watching. Get my hand, you need it Sweet. <laughs>